<laughs> Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Diana West, and I am the current chairperson of the Hadley Historical Commission. When I joined the commission back in 2018, conversations about historical information signs were already in the works. So it's been a long time coming. We wanted to tell the story of all of Hadley's history. So our ideas evolved into three projects. Four historical information signs, an update to the West Street walking tour, first published in 1987 with a second edition in 2012, and an audio driving tour. I am incredibly grateful to Historical Commission members past and present for their research and work on these projects. Today we celebrate the four historical information signs that provide a grand overview of Hadley's 365 plus year history. We meet on the historic Hadley Town Common with the Connecticut River behind me, both integral parts to Hadley's history and her continued success. Prior to English settlers finding their way up the river, indigenous peoples also called this place home. They referred to it as Nanatuk or Narwadic, meaning in the midst of the river. The area was ideal for hunting and gathering as well as selective horticulture, hence why it also appealed to the English settlers. The first group of settlers established a village with eight acre home plots, a central mile long common and open field farmlands behind. Sound familiar? That same layout exists in almost the exact same fashion today, an incredible connection of the present to the past. The common was the central hub of the community for nearly two centuries and continues to hold significance. It was here on the common where a woman was accused of witchcraft, but managed to thwart her accusers by surviving their sense of justice in that of a hanging and a night in the snow. It was here on the common where regicides from England saved townspeople from an attack during King Philip's War. It was here on the common that a town found itself so divided over a new town center, a schism developed into a new church building that once sat right over there. And it was here on the common that that church eventually became a potato and grain storehouse before serving new European immigrants, Polish Catholics. It was here on the common that progress chugged through Hadley when the railroad came to town and ran right behind me. I would love to take you to each sign and tell you similar histories at each one. But in the interest of time and parking, I invite you to explore them on your own. They represent how the town grew beyond just the common and just those early settlers. The Historical Commission hopes that the signs, available in both English and Spanish translation, will pique public interest in the history of Hadley and encourage visitors and residents alike to spend more time learning about the town. With all three of our projects, we will tell many of Hadley's histories, but there's always more to explore and learn. So we are just getting started. Many, many people helped to make this project possible. Special thank you to both Linda Sanderson and Carolyn Brennan for helping us to explore funding options and ultimately encouraging us to apply for CPA funds. Thank you to Jennifer Sanders James, the Planning Board, Select Board, Department of Public Works, and the Building Department for all of your support. Thank you to the Community Preservation Committee for approving our application and to the whole town for voting to approve the funding at the annual town meeting in May 2023. Thank you to Alex LaMarche and Hadley Media. Thank you to Alan Weinberg for continued support from the Hadley Historical Society. Thank you to Hadley Historical Commission members present, Mary Carney, Irene Costello, Courtney Meyer, Sharon Parsons, and Brianna Quinn, and past, Denise Barstow Manns, Stacey Cooney, Ginger Goldsbury, Carolyn Holstein, Adriana Sarzinski, Judy Stone, and Marjorie Townsend. And our deepest gratitude goes to Dan Ragish, who volunteered his time and talents to install the four signs. We encourage you all to visit the signs. The other three are located at 50 Middle Street in front of the Goodwin Memorial Building, at the intersection of River Drive and Mount Warner Road by the Lake Warner Boat Launch in North Hadley, and at 147 Hockenham Road at the Hockenham Schoolhouse. I now invite forward select person Molly Keegan to say a few words. Um, first, I just want to say when I look around uh, the folks in attendance right now, it warms my heart to realize I believe every single one of you has been in the past or is currently a volunteer for our town. So thank you for everything that you do. Uh, people don't realize how much our town runs on people's dedication and their willingness to serve. So, um, And very briefly, I, I want to say a huge shout out to the Historical Commission 
Um, I remember attending a meeting of theirs it was, I think, back in 2018, and this had already been a huge topic of conversation. So things do uh, grind slowly in town at times, but here we are. So again, just a huge thank you to the dedication and the um, perseverance of the Historical Commission and the CPA for uh, funding this project um, and everyone else that uh, Diana mentioned. So thanks for being here. And now in a symbolic moment, we will unveil the common sign. Thank you all so much for coming. I would love for my past and present historical commission members to join me up here for a photo. Photo op. Big photo op. Come on, Sherry, Judy. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. You can do this. 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 You can do this.